नमस्कार विद्यार्थी मित्रांनो याच्या आधीचा व्हिडिओ तुम्ही जर बघितला असेल तर त्यामध्ये आपण एन्व्हायरमेंटल स्टडीज या विषयाबाबत चर्चा केलेली आहे एन्व्हायरमेंटल स्टडीजची टीचिंग स्कीम काय आहे त्याच्यामध्ये किती चॅप्टर आहेत मायक्रो प्रोजेक्टसाठी बोर्डाने कुठले कुठले टॉपिक दिलेले आहेत स्टडी मटेरियल मुलांना काय यूज करायचं आहे त्यानंतर कोर्स आउटकम काय आहेत याबाबत आपण बघितले आता आज आपण एन्व्हायरमेंटल स्टडीजचा पहिला चॅप्टर म्हणजे एन्व्हायरमेंट जो दहा मार्काला आहे त्याबद्दल बोलूया यामध्ये सगळ्यात महत्वाची गोष्ट लर्निंग आउटकम डिस्कस द स्कोप ऑफ एन्व्हायरमेंट सेकंड इज डिस्क्राईब व्हेरियस टाईप्स ऑफ एन्व्हायरमेंट थर्ड डिस्क्राईब इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ एन्व्हायरमेंटल स्टडीज लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ फर्स्ट चॅप्टर दॅट इज एन्व्हायरमेंट एन्व्हायरमेंट इज द सराउंडिंग अराउंड अस circumstances and conditions that surround an organism social and cultural conditions that affect an individual surrounding external conditions influencing development or growth of people animal or plants living or working conditions now next is components of environment there are two components of environment biotic components and abiotic components बायोटिक कॉम्पोनंट्स मीन्स लिव्हिंग कॉम्पोनंट्स लाईक प्लांट्स ॲनिमल्स मायक्रोज ह्युमन बिंग एक्सेट्रा वाईल अबायोटिक फॅक्टर मीन्स नॉन लिव्हिंग फॅक्टर्स लाईक सॉईल रॉक एक्सेट्रा नाव लेट अस सी वॉट इज नीड ऑफ एन्व्हायरमेंटल स्टडीज नीड ऑफ एन्व्हायरमेंटल स्टडीज इन्क्लूड टू इन्स्पायर एव्हरी सिटीजन to use our environmental resources with care and protect them from degradation second to explain the concept of environmental degradation third to identify various factors causing environmental degradation to explain concept of sustainable development and fifth is to gain support from environmental protection now next is segments of environment there are four segments of environment first is atmosphere lithosphere hydrosphere and biosphere these are the four segments let us see one by one atmosphere virtual ocean of air the atmosphere forms a protective cover over the earth it is 12 km thick hydrosphere the surface of earth filled with any form of water the hydrosphere covers Three fourth of earth's surface a main part of hydrosphere is the marine ecosystem in ocean lithosphere outer shell of the earth composed of crust and rigid outermost mantle it provide us the soil for agriculture stone gravel sand for construction nutrients for plants oil coal gas etc fourth segment of environment is biosphere the place on earth where life exists it provide food from crops and domestic animals providing human metabolic requirement food for all forms of life the biosphere is the global sum of all ecosystems in can also be called as zone of life on the earth environmental studies environmental studies emphasize on some factors environment issues like global warming ozone depletion acid rain etc civilization and development leads to environmental pollution explosively severely increasing air water soil land and noise pollution need for alternative technologies in all areas which produce less control pollution need to save biodiversity is urban rural and industrial development need for better communication among the various stakeholders need for sustainable development and peace now next is objectives of evs that is environmental studies there are some objectives of evs first objective is awareness about awareness is about environment and its allied problems knowledge acquire basic understanding and experience about our environment and problems attitude 
concern for the environment and active participation in its improvement and protection skill identifying and solving environmental problems participation providing opportunity to be involved in resolving environmental problems so today we learn about definition of environment components of environment biotic and abiotic need of environmental studies segment of environment importance of environmental studies